Make your day richer than it was before. Got some good times knocking upon your front door. It's the Richard Wilmore Show. Question of are you having fun? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, were you about to say you look like you're not having fun? Well, maybe. <laughs> Is this your having fun face? Um. <laughs> yes. Good. I am here with the cast of uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, at um, Woodlawn Theater. Do you want to introduce yourselves and tell them what um, what character you're playing? Sure. Yes. I'm Ronald Watts, and I'm playing the role of Bernadette. I'm John Baring, and I'm playing the role of Tick. I'm Jesse Beer, and I'm playing the role of Felicia. Um, can you tell the people what this show is about? Because I'm going to guess that some people who are coming have never even heard of it. For sure. It's about three drag queens crossing the Australian desert in search of themselves and others. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly find others, don't they? Mm -hmm. So it's not obviously just like crazy costumes. Like, let's talk about what the show, what you guys are getting out of the show, what you're getting out of rehearsals, what you're finding out about yourselves and like about these characters. Well, everybody in this show has a journey that they go on and it's their own personal journey, something that they feel like they're, they're missing and they go in search of that. And then at the end of the show, they find something completely different. What I really appreciate about the show is that along their journey, they meet a bunch of characters who are from very different walks of life that they are, and plenty of people who don't agree or like the, like the walks of life that we are on, our characters are on. Um, but you still find in, in those scenes similarities. Everybody's looking for love. Everybody's looking for connection. And that's one of the major themes in this show, I feel, is that even though we think we're very different, we're all experiencing very similar things. What something that I think is really fun about the show is the majority of it is a giant road trip and it's just three <laughs> queens in a bus. I would do it. Going across a whole continent. A whole desert. And oh. Hilarity ensues, it breaks down, um, and you know, I just imagine three of the uh, three friends going cross country together in a bus. It must be a very tall bus. <laughs> yes. Guess. Yes. We've been here for about 72 hours today, yeah. um, getting y'all in your. Is today the first day that you put on your costumes and makeup and wigs and everything? Yes. Yes, yeah, it is. That is it. What has the last couple of hours been like? Putting it all on and, and becoming this. It's a maiden voyage. Can you crack a <laughs> bottle of champagne over here? <laughs> something, something. I know that I feel whenever I'm putting on the makeup and the costumes for the first time, it's really when I feel the character coming to me. I, I feel like you can do a lot of work with the scenes and the choreography and learning the lines and the music and stuff, but costumes and makeup, actually being in it, really gives me the sense of the character. That's true, and also I feel like, um, you know, that would putting on makeup next to each other would be something that we would do very uh, often in our characters' worlds, and so I feel like that was a unique bonding experience just to like kind of be there in silence getting <laughs> gussied up and put their face on at the same time <laughs> yes yeah. yeah I agree with uh, Felicia uh, there's something magical about uh, putting on someone else's clothes when you put their clothes on you become them for some reason mm -hmm. 
uh, dress first dress rehearsal is always something clicks and never has before and everything just jumps up one notch so we jumped today yes. maybe a half a notch but now we did uh, we jumped a notch yes what drew each of you to audition for the show that's a really good question. Um, Should make Chris be on the yeah. show now, but he's making all the noise. I uh, I auditioned because I thought it would be a fun thing to do, and um, I thought I would be a good fit for the role that I eventually got cast in. So that was the way it worked out. The way I wanted it to. Yeah. <laughs> I auditioned because I. Didn't know a whole lot about the show, but I was living in New York when it was on Broadway mm -hmm. and I would see these posters and it looked over the top and crazy. I saw the Tony's performance and I saw these giant men in these huge heels and um, I didn't know what the story was about, but I knew that it looked like a lot of fun. So now that I'm actually in it. I am realizing that there is a really good story and a meaningful one, not just like a bunch of glitzy, over-the-top costumes. It actually has a lot of heart. <laughs> the story has substance. Yeah. Um, I auditioned for the show because I haven't done... This is my first musical since last summer. And artistically, I was hungry for something that was... Um, not only substantial, but something that I really connect with. And I feel that of the roles that I've had, they were mostly like men being men. And me getting to be in drag and doing a musical just brings a lot of childhood dreams to life. <laughs> um, so this was, I feel, the first step in that. So why should everybody come see it? Why should everybody come see it? Yes. This is going to be so much fun. So much fun. We're having a blast, and we know you will too. <laughs> yes. Um, you should come, because it's incredible. It's an important story. There's a lot to offer. People um, will see themselves in it. <laughs> I know it's interesting to say while I'm wearing this. <laughs> You know, I also think it's important uh, to see this piece of work because um, in modern day times, you know, uh, being different is still something that is uh, something that's not okay with some people and, you know, it's an issue and um, I think that anybody who's feeling maybe on the outskirts of society or something uh, I think it's important for them to see that, and I think people who feel perfectly comfortable should also meet these three characters who are just a little different, and maybe you'll see something in them that you see in yourself. <laughs> and no, go. I feel that living in South Texas, I just don't hear about a lot of theaters doing shows like this, but I know that consistently for the last several years, the Woodlawn has been putting on shows that are inclusive of, inclusive of drag queens and trans characters and characters from marginalized groups and minority groups. And that is something that I would like to keep going in this area. And I'd like to see expand to other theaters for sure. And it seems to be working because their shows are selling out. So don't wait to get tickets. Go to the website on your screen that I'll put up later and uh, get tickets. It opens the 11th. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great night. You <laughs> I just can't believe you didn't hit me once with that thing. You were close. All right, that's it. That's